In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some low poly nature in Blender 2.8. Let's get into it. But before we start the video, I did section the video up into like four or five different parts. So if you're looking for a specific model you want to make, check the description and there will be a time code for each model. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, so you're going to start off, as always, delete everything in your scene just to make it clean. Now, after you've done that, we're going to start off with making a simple rock. So go shift A and add in a mesh icosphere just like that now over here there's a little pop-up menu click on this and make sure it's at the two subdivisions and then you're good to go so next what you want to do is open the modifier panel over here and hit the decimate modifier what this will do is this will remove some geometry randomly so all you want to do is mess with this ratio and make it look a little bit more like a rock after you've done that turn on proportional editing and move the rock however you want to Stretch and pull it and just make it a little bit more random of a shape because rocks are not completely spherical. And there you have it. There's your rock. All right. What we're going to be making now is a tree trunk. So what you want to do is add in a cylinder and make it 10 vertices. There we go. Now bring it up to the level. Select this top part using the alt and left click button. Bring it down like so. Scale it down. And then extrude it along the Z. Scale it down some more. And do something like that. So now that you have this shape right here, what you want to do is go into the face select mode using three button and just extrude out these shapes to make a, a couple of branches now do this twice and scale it down just like that now you got your basic trunk but we're going to go to top view and select this face here what we're going to do on this face is hit i to inset bring it in i don't know about that that far looks good and then bring it down using g and z just like that so now you have your basic log here okay so now we're going to make a log what you want to do here is if you want the log to be the exact same diameter as your as your stump here, what we're going to do is we're going to shift D and move them along the Y. We'll just copy this top part just like that. So now we am extrude along the Z and get something like that. So you can separate these items using the loose parts and this will separate them and make them all good. Now you have your own separate log here. That is the exact same diameter as the top of the stump. So what we're going to do is go to the top here, go into face select mode, select the top and bottom faces and delete them. Go back into vertices select mode, select the top and bottom loops. And we're going to search for F3 and we're going to do bridge edge loops. What this will do is kind of fill in the space in there and make it more of a solid shape. All right. After you've done that, you can mess with this a little bit more and add a couple of loop cuts just like that. That looks great. Now, just like the log, go into face select mode, extrude it out a little bit, and scale it down. Just like that. So, after you've done that, you can turn back on proportional editing and just mess with the shape a little bit. Just make it so it's not perfect shape, just kind of change it up. Alrighty, now we'll move on to the next section. So now we're going to make some simple blades of grass. So what you're going to do is add in a cylinder. Now, instead of 10 vertices this time, we're going to change it to three. We're going to have a triangle. After you've done that, GZ, bring it up kind of on the level with the Y axis. Go into edit mode, vertices select. Select these top three vertices and uh, use control right click to bring them upwards and then scale them down each time. After you've done that, Make a couple more completely different ones. You want them to change it up a little bit. Perfect. Now they have a couple more. You want to go and click seven on your number pad and arrange these in a random rotation. Right. R, hit R and C and just move your mouse around randomly. And there you go. You got a simple blade of grass. You can make as many of these blades of grass as you want in one little section and just use a particle effect to put them all over the ground. Last up, we're going to be making what most of you probably clicked this video for is the tree. So bring in a cylinder and make it have 10 vertices just like our stump. After you've done that, 
I'm going to move it up on so it's level with the y-axis. Zoom in on it. And select this top edge here. Scale, 0. And put that there. Now, a scale on the z-axis, just like that. And widen it up a little bit. Now, we're going to bring it up where it was, just like that. Now, go into edit mode. Go to control, control R and add five loop cuts. Once you've done that, what you want to do is go under each and every one of these loop cuts and add another loop cut. Pretty close to the original loop cut, but you want to have enough space so you can individually click each of the loop cuts. There we go. So now what you want to do is click the bottom loop cut on all of these using shift alt. After doing that, change to individual origins and scale down. Just like that. Now, bring them up. All right, so now we have a very symmetrical tree, but we don't necessarily want it to be as symmetrical. Select every other vertice, like so. You want to hit scale outwards and hit shift Z. That way it will scale only on the X and Y axis. Bring them out a little bit, like so. And then bring them down using GZ, just like that. Perfect. And now you got a low poly tree top. But of course, we want to add a trunk to the tree. So bring the tree up and we're going to add in another cylinder. Keep the vertices at 10 and scale it down till it looks appropriate for the tree you're making. Now, once you've done that, tab, select this top edge here and scale it down. Just like we did for the tree trunk. Now, extrude along the Z a little bit and scale it down again. Perfect. That's all you need. Now, bring the top of the tree down. And there you go. There's your low poly pine tree. Now it's time to add some color to your models. I left everything the same in the material. All I did is change the hex code. The hex codes are up on screen now. And if you want, I'll leave them in the description as well. So you can just copy and paste them into your material. To end off this video, I decided to show you guys a render that I made using these assets. This is a really cool render, I think. And if you want to see how to make that Ford Bronco right there, I will show you guys if this video gets to 20 likes. So hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to not miss that video. Alright, I'm out of here. Have a great day.